Welcome. This is a guide on using the Nuka Crypt trade tool. This is used to help you have safer trades, give karma to each other, and to give us some information about how much things are trading for so that we can give you better price checks. It is used after you have connected with somebody and agreed upon what you're trading. It can be used with any other place you might find a trade, such as Facebook or Reddit. It is not the listing tool itself, but rather something to help you finalize the trade. To use this, what you do is you go ahead and click on the trade button right on the home page. And that will take you here to this view. And what you see here is you get to pick if you're the seller, the buyer, or the courier. I am going to go ahead and pick seller. And that brings us to this trade summary window. From here you can see that it shows one person, myself, and it has the different statuses, but nobody else is here. So what we want to do is invite somebody. I'm going to pick another user. This is another handle I have on the system called Revenant. You can see here it actually shows the profile of the player I've picked. Over time, this will show your Karma score, which will update as you trade nicely with other people. It starts at three stars, and it will go up to a five or down to a one. There is other information you can fill out on your profile, including the times that you're available to play, which is useful when trying to connect with somebody. If you want to update your own times, you just do it up in the social menu, and you just click on the times or tap on the times that you are available. So now, knowing that I want to trade with this person, I'm going to mark them as a buyer and just click that. Now you can see they're showing up in the same list alongside myself. Next, we want to add an item for this cell. I know we, we've already arranged this, so we're going to go ahead and add an item using this. Now, there are a lot of windows and pull downs here, and it can be confusing. So just know the top row here is for legendaries, and then down here you have a section for all of your other common items. So we're going to start here by taking the prefix effect, the first thing that is legendary. And the prefix effect we want to use will be bloodied. We're going to go ahead and pick a fixer. I think we'll do faster fire, and we'll put a perception on this one. Now there is our legendary that we want to trade. Go ahead and click plus, and you see it has added that now to the list of items that we're going to sell. We're also going to add a common item. And the common item is going to be the very rare and loved, let's do the Fashnacht Beret. And then to hide the extra information you don't need to see, you can just click and close this plus and minus, and it will show and hide all that extra stuff that you just don't need if you're not editing anything. You do the same thing then for the items to offer. Now, I am the seller, but I actually know what I'm trading for, so I could fill this out ahead of time. It's the exact same thing here. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and say it is a auto stim combat right leg We'll put some, uh, uh, we're not going to put anything else on that. And we're just going to go ahead and put that happy little combat armor right in there. Now, we're going to add in some more common stuff. Let's go ahead and, I want to have this trade done with the Deathclaw Mask. So I'm really trying to trade my Fixer for a Deathclaw Mask. And now we can see the overall view. This is showing the items that will be traded both directions and who's involved in them. So Revenant has received an email inviting him to this trade. I'm going to go ahead and switch users so we can see what he sees. So now we're coming in here and I'm going back to the trade interface and I'm going to the active list and I can see my list down at the bottom there. Now I'm in the trade and as Revenant I can join the trade just by clicking here. I'm going to look at what items are in the trade and decide, you know, yeah, I think I want more Fashion Up Rays though, that's not enough. And so I can change the quantity. I also noticed that the price wasn't put in there, so I want to do some estimates. I want to help you guys out, right? So let's go ahead and put in a price. This fixer is probably, oh, 10,000? No, it should be more than 10,000. Let's actually make that 40,000. There we go. And for the bray, it'll just be 10 caps. Combat armor, oh, let's put it at, oh, maybe 1,000? Now we'll go with 100. And then the Deathclaw Mask, I think, is worth 5000 right now. We'll just go with that. All right, I can actually come in here and change it, too. I can delete some things. I can add some things if I wanted to. But instead, I'm just going to go ahead and go on up here, and I'm going to switch my status to Agree. Now let's go ahead and switch accounts and switch back over to Anselak. Here you go. Over on Anselak now, you can see the Agreed status now is showing up on Revenant. And I look at the items, they look good, so I'm going to go ahead and just mark Agree for myself. Boom. So you can see with this change that now the status up here is accepted. 
once it's at this point, I can come over here and I can do ratings on Revenant. You can see there's a smiley face and a frowny face. One other interesting feature is the safe trade code. The safe trade code is there and it's only shown to you and the other people in the trade. And it's something you can use to identify yourselves when you're in the game world and you want to make sure this is someone that you've actually coordinated with and it's not someone else coming in to grief you. You just ask each other for the trade code and only each other will have seen it. And so it should be safe to assure that that is the person you wanted to meet. Now, we did not go over using a courier, but it works just the same way. You invite them to the trade. They can make a review on each other. And the other thing we didn't talk about was how the trade closes. Once everybody has raided each other, the trade will automatically move into a completed status. So you don't really need to do anything to close it. It just automatically happens. I hope that this tool is something you guys will enjoy. And if you need any help with it, just go ahead and find us on Discord and let us know how things are going. Thank you.